Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and welcome to our lesson on squares and square roots. What to expect today? We will be talking about squares and square roots. Pretty straightforward. So what is squaring a number? Let me show you an example. Here is squaring a number. 4 raised to the power of 2 is also called 4 squared. Basically, any time you have an exponent of 2, you are squaring the number. So let's, that's pretty straightforward. We've done exponents before. 4 to the power of 2 means 4 is our base, and 2 is our exponent. So we multiply 4 times itself. 2 times, right? 4 times 4 gives us 16. Now, why do we call this squaring a number? So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you real quick. This is a square. <laughs> you know that. If I had the length of 4 from one side to the other, and I were to square this number, it would look like this. See? I've multiplied 4 times 4, and if you count, there's 16 squares inside of there. So that's why we call it squaring. It's because that would be how you would find the area of a square that has a length of 4. All right, so that's just kind of a side note. You don't really need to know about that. I just always wondered why 2 was squaring when it seems like a funny number to call it squaring something, but that's why. Um, because 4 to the power of 2 is like finding the area of a square that has a side length of 4. All right, let's go ahead and actually do some squaring. Um, remember, we talked about exponents. This is our base 6. That's our exponent 2. And so that means the base times itself two times. The most common mistake is for people to just multiply 6 times 2 equals 12, and that is wrong. It's the base number times itself. So let's practice doing that. 5 squared, that's in exponent form. When we expand it out, it becomes 5 times 5, which is 25. So here are our three forms, exponent form, expanded form, standard form. That's how we solve an exponent. When you get quicker at it, you'll probably go straight from exponent form to standard form. But as you're learning about squaring, you probably want to write it out in the expanded form just to remind you what an exponent means. Let's do it. 1 squared. What is that? You can pause the recording as you're going or pause this video and try and solve these before I do. 1 squared means 1 times 1, which gives you the answer of 1. 2 squared. Again, pause it. Try it out yourself. It's 2 times 2, which is 4. And remember, 2 times 2 is because the base is being multiplied times itself, not because you're multiplying the base times the exponent. That one can be confusing. And 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, and that gives you 9. So you can continue going and make a whole list of squares, but I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. So here's the list of perfect squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are the ones we've worked with already inside of this lesson. So you can see these perfect squares. I'm going to show you the, other, the next six. I would encourage you to memorize these ones as you go. It's easy to make a list of your own perfect squares. All right, You simply multiply the number times itself and it will give you a list of perfect squares. So there is a list of perfect squares I would encourage you to memorize, have those down, and one of the main reasons you want to memorize that is because you're going to need to know them when you get into the second half of this lesson, which is square roots. The square root is the opposite of squaring. So here's an example. The square root of 36 is 6 means what number times itself gives us 36? Well, 6 does. 6 times 6 is 36. Let's look at some more. The square root of 81 is 9, because 9 times 9, or 9 squared, equals 81. The square root of 49 is 7. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. I've got um, three questions here that I'd like you to pause this video and try them out yourself. Welcome back. Hopefully you were able to find that the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of 25 is 5. Those are square roots. What number times itself will give me the number inside of that symbol? Okay, That's what a square root is. Here is, just like my list of perfect squares, I have a list of square roots for you. I would encourage you to memorize these. These are ones that you will see 
over and over and over. All of the questions are going to be based on these 12 numbers. So I would memorize the list of perfect squares and their square root companions that go along with them. That would be a really good way to, to remember these and to make sure that you get them. And they'll become quick. I'm sure you already have some of them memorized already. And that is everything we're going to do today. Quick recap. Squaring a number means raising it to the power of 2, and taking the square root of a number is the opposite of squaring it. So 3 squared equals 9, the square root of 9 is equal to 3. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.